If you're looking to buy the Tethered Menace, you might be wondering which size is right for you. In this video, I'm gonna help you make a more informed buying decision based on the actual dimensions of each of the sizes, as well as how to measure yourself for that ideal fit. All right, we're gonna deep dive into that video in just one second, but before we do that, make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you want more content just like this. It also helps out the channel a ton. Let's get into it. Okay, so the Tethered Menace comes in three sizes. There's medium, there's large, and there's extra large. Tethered's website actually provides a brief sizing guide based on waistline, but a more effective method is to actually take the physical measurements of your body and compare that to the dimensions of the saddle for the best fit. So here are the dimensions of each of the sizes. For the medium, it is 11 and a half inches from top to bottom. It is 23 inches wide. For the large, it is 13 inches top to bottom, 26 inches wide. And for the extra large, it is 16 inches top to bottom and 29 and a half inches wide. Okay, so go ahead and take a mental note of each of those dimensions or feel free to rewind the video and go back to those product dimensions after we do the measurement here in this next segment. Think of your body as a clock. The ideal coverage for the saddle should be about 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Measure from the outside edge of your hamstring on one leg around your rear end until it touches the outside edge of your other hamstring. Take that measurement and compare it to the sizing guide to see which one you fall under. Having adequate coverage is going to increase your comfort and make those longer sits a breeze. The second measurement you'll want to take is from the top of the belt line down to about the upper one-third area of the hamstring. The longer it is on your legs, the easier it's gonna be for if you're a sitter rather than a leaner. A good rule of thumb is that if you are still on the edge of two sizes, let's say the large and the XL, go ahead and opt for the larger size. It really can't hurt. And if you think about it, what you're measuring in probably isn't going to be the same dimensions as what you hunt in. You're gonna be hunting in a lot thicker clothes, bigger bibs, you might have a jacket on, and that's gonna increase the distance of those two measurements. So you might opt for the larger size of the two. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it, and I hope that this Tethered Menace sizing guide was helpful to you. If you did get value out of this content, go ahead and hit that like button, drop your questions in the comments below, and otherwise, best of luck this season.